<laughs> Part 4 The Complete Beginner's Guide to the Horse's Bridle from HowToRideHorses.com <laughs> This video will show you simply and clearly all the parts of a bridle how to take a bridle apart how to put a bridle together how to put a bridle on a horse how to take a bridle off a horse and how to store a bridle Hello and welcome to part 4 of the complete beginners series howtoridehorses.com Today we're going to look at bridles There are various sorts of bridles traditionally they were made of leather Nowadays you can get bridles made of nylon, you can get bitless bridles, there's a wide variety of bridles to use with horses. Today we're going to look at a traditional simple leather bridle. So here it is. When holding a bridle, hold it like this. Hold the bridle like this. Sometimes people hold bridles like this, it's wrong. Hold the bridle like this. What we're going to do now, we're going to take the bridle apart and then hopefully it will be more simple to understand the bridle. There are only seven parts to a simple bridle. The reins, reins, here, the headpiece, headpiece, Brow band, brow band, the nose band, nose band, the two cheek pieces, two cheek pieces that attach the head piece to the bit, cheek pieces attach the head piece to the bit, and the bit itself the bit. The throat lash is attached to the headpiece. Take the bridle apart. Unfasten the reins. This is a billet fastening. The reins detached from the bridle. Undo the nose band. This is a buckle fastening. Pull the strap of the nose band through the brow band. The nose band detached from the bridle. Undo the cheek piece. This is a buckle fastening. The first cheek piece detached from the head piece. Undo the second cheek piece. This is a buckle fastening. The cheek pieces detached from the bridle. Remove the brow band from the head piece. The brow band detached from the head piece. <coughs> Detach the cheek pieces from the bit. This is a billet fastening. The cheek pieces detached from the bit. The parts of the bridle in clockwise order. Cheek pieces, bit, reins, nose band, brow band, head piece.
throat lash. The throat lash is part of the headpiece. Put a bridle together. Thread the brow band onto the headpiece. Note the position of the throat lash, the long strap on the headpiece. The strap on the left is to attach to the cheek piece. The thinner strap on the right is to attach to the throat lash. Fasten the cheek pieces to the bit. The bit should be this shape in the horse's mouth, a smiley mouth shape. The bit should not be upside down. This will be uncomfortable for the horse. These are billet fastenings. Billets face towards the horse. The cheek pieces attached to the bit. Fasten the cheek pieces to the head piece. Buckles face away from the horse. Attach the nose band to the bridle. Thread the long strap of the nose band through the brow band as shown. The nose band goes inside the cheek pieces. The nose band attached to the bridle. Attach the reins to the bridle. These reins have a billet fastening so that they fasten towards the horse. If they were a buckle fastening, they would fasten away from the horse. The reins attach to the bridle. You can see all the billet fastenings pointing towards the horse. A completed bridle. Put a bridle on a horse. There are many different ways of bridling a horse or putting a bridle on. This is a method that we use. Here is your bridle. Hold it like this. Unclip the lead rope.
pick up the reins off your arm and put over the horse's head whilst still holding the horse's head collar. Undo the head collar. Drop the head collar to the floor and hold the horse's nose with your right hand. Shake the bridle down your arm to your left hand. Transfer the bridle to your right hand, holding it halfway down. Put the bit against the horse's muzzle. Slide the bit down his muzzle and to his mouth. Your left thumb goes into the corner of his mouth. There are no teeth there. The left thumb presses down against the horse's gum. The horse opens his mouth. The right hand gently but firmly pulls the bit up into the horse's mouth. Transfer the bridle to the left hand. I like to arrange and tidy the forelock and mane at this point if the horse is quiet. I like to put the offside ear gently forwards with the left hand and with the right hand bring the bridle over both my hand and the horse's ear. Here I am bringing the bridle back over the near side ear with the right hand whilst holding and straightening the forelock with the left hand. Here I am gently bringing the ear forward from under the headpiece with the left hand. Bring the throat lash under his cheek and fasten the buckle. There should be around four fingers between the throat lash and the horse's cheek to ensure the horse's comfort. Ensure the bit, nose band and brow band are level. The nose band is put inside the cheek pieces. Fasten the nose band. There should be around two fingers between the nose band and the horse's face to ensure the horse's comfort. The nose band should be at least a finger's width below the cheekbone for the horse's comfort. The nose band should be well above the bit so that the horse's skin cannot be nipped between the nose band and the bit. Billets and buckles. There are two types of fastenings usually on bridles. This is a buckle fastening. Sometimes this could be a billet fastening. This is what a billet fastening looks like. When you have a billet fastening on a horse, the billet faces the horse because it is smooth against the horse's skin. <clears throat> when you have a buckle fastening, the buckle faces outwards away from the horse's skin. Take off the bridle. If you are going to put a head collar on the horse after taking the bridle off, slip the head collar onto your arm as shown. Undo the throat lash. Undo the nose band. Take the headpiece in the left hand and gently slip it over the horse's ears. 
Hold the bit in the horse's mouth as shown. Do not let the bridle fall down or the bit will clang against the back of the horse's front teeth. Lower the bridle slowly, waiting for the horse to open his mouth to let the bit out. Slip the bridle onto the right arm. Put the head collar on the horse. Hold the head collar and the bridle in the left hand. Hold the reins in the right hand. Slip the reins over his head. Put the reins with the bridle in the left hand. With the left hand you are holding the bridle and the head collar. The right hand is attaching the rope to the head collar. This horse is left safely tied up. You do not always need to put the head collar on the horse. You can simply slip the bridle off and leave him loose in the stable or the field if safe to do so. Wash the bit. It is good practice to wash the bit before hanging the bridle neatly away. When you've finished riding your horse, it's nice to wash the bit. The best thing to do is get the leather out of the way. So I'm putting the reins over my shoulder. Lift the nose band and the throat lash away. Washing the bit removes saliva and dirt which can dry on the bit and chafe or irritate the horse the next time he is ridden. So here is your completed bridle that you've put back together. To hang it on a hook, simply get the buckle end of the rein to the headpiece so that the reins are level and then hang it on your hook. To fasten your bridle more securely, if you're travelling to a show for example and the bridle might get tossed around, take the reins and put the reins through the throat lash. Fasten the throat lash. Get the nose band, put the nose band on the outside of the bridle and fasten it like that. So that's one way. Another way is to cross the nose band. So you can cross the nose band round the back, bring it round the front. and fasten it, then the bridle is fastened neatly, ready to travel to a show. Here is the bridle stored neatly in a horse box. You have been watching part 4 of the series HowToRideHorses.com If you have enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe. This series of videos is to help complete beginners learn about horse riding and horse care, all the way from the first riding lesson to competing at the first show. Coming in part 5. What are the aids? We learn how to use the aids for riding a figure of eight in walk. We watch riders with their horses and then have a virtual horse ride on Leo. We hope you enjoy it. Bye for now.